Hello all, thank you so much for watching this video today. I have already twisted my hair in a twist out. I have already dried it under the hair dryer, slept with it, curled around the roller curler as you can see. And now I'm to the point where my hair is dry, it's cured and I'm ready to take it down. Welcome to another week, another wash hour. My name is Nicole. I started the 30 day hair detox in January of 2021. And the purpose of my hair videos is to encourage tight curly naturals to adopt the simple hair care techniques of cleansing your hair with conditioner, cleansing your hair with shampoo, conditioning it with conditioner and styling it every week to encourage moisture, hydration, length retention and overall health for your natural tight curly unique beautiful hair so welcome if this is your first time here welcome back if you're a frequent watcher today i have decided to use the quiet calm leave-in on my hair first from the inner sense and then go in with the mousse def on top of it because my goal is to have a twist out with a fluffier finish so i haven't done this combo before for you guys and so we will see how it turns out together ways to support my channel like this video right subscribe to my channel you can support me by joining patreon by um, joining youtube memberships look at the link in the description box and also in the description box you will find affiliate links that i have for ag care for Innersense and other links that I have that may be helpful to you on your natural hair journey. Thank you to those who are supporting me on Patreon. You can also support me by leaving a comment, by sharing my videos, by doing um, super thanks, which is a way that you can leave me a tip for my content if you appreciate it. I appreciate those of you who do that. So what makes my channel different is I don't just show you how my hair looks wet or dry or just when I first do it, but I show you how my hair progresses throughout the week so you can have a realistic view of how hair behaves throughout the week with a style. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching as I experiment with this parting technique, with this twist and curl, with this product combination for this week's wash hour so thank you so much for joining me today and stay tuned to see the results
Hey y'all, this is the same day I took my hair down and I wanted this to be a good object lesson for um, what I was talking about in a previous video as to why I don't want to do a rod set in this heat and humidity. It is 417. My watch says it's 90 degrees outside. Let me check on that humidity for y'all. Humidity today. Right now it's 65%. It has been raining today. So I did the twisted style with good expectations because this is like the do. This is the moose death. This isn't the crazy sexy, crazy sexy curl. Is that what's called? The other, the honey foam. And so I thought it will hold up better. I did not expect the weather to be this disrespectful to my set. <clears throat> so I have to figure out, <laughs> but I want to wear my hair down, but I don't want to like re-cleanse conditioner style it just in a wash and go. So I have to figure out what to do with my hair for tomorrow. Yeah, I might tie it up tonight and just see, either I'm gonna tie it up tonight or I'm thinking about if I should, but it was hard enough sleeping with those few rollers in my head. Like, should I roll it because with these and then see if I can salvage some semblance of a frizzy curl, which seems like a lot of work to not have a guaranteed set for tomorrow. Or should I just, you know, twist it in a nice twist it up do because who knows how this hair is going to be coming out of the, the hair buff tomorrow. So what? I'll let you know tomorrow what I decided to do. <laughs> I'm not so much worried about the back as I am the front part. So yeah, we will we will see together. But this is this is it still has movement, it still has shape. But you see how it's got like it's like frizzy curl. Y'all see that? You see it. So that's fine for today. But you know, once you, once you go to sleep and wake up, it's a whole different story. Nothing is locked down. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. She might surprise me. All right, Abigail might surprise me. But this is what we're dealing with. So I will see you on day two. And uh, we will see what happens. Yeah, to be continued. But this is why, yeah, I don't like to do any more like twist outs, braid outs with um, heat, humidity like it's been lately. I need to save that for more like for fall time. But you know I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't tie my hair up when I did yard work yesterday. I got all the debris, everything. You know, you run into a spider web, you're scared there's a spider in your hair. I don't need to go to sleep with those kind of fears. So I cleansed and conditioned this out my hair last night in a foam style, you know, for today. But it ain't. I'm just so used to how my wash and go does that that's, that's the life I like. Easily five days, okay? I mean, it's cute, but I want longevity. Longevity over cute. Comment below if you agree. Would you rather your style be cute for one day or get cuter over the course of five to ten days? Okay. I'll see y'all on day two. Another thing that could have helped this set last longer would be if I had done my twists in smaller sections. Hey y'all, it's day two here. So... I didn't record what I did with my hair because I didn't need that pressure because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And so I'll tell you what I did. I like lightly misted my hair per section, just in the front. I left it back by itself with a little bit of water. And I took these little flexi rods and did like, I did like one, two, three, four, five. Six. I did like six in the front. One, two, and then like a couple, two or three, like maybe two up here. So that's like eight total. And this morning, went to sleep on it, tied it up, and this morning took it down and then, you know, separated it like that. And it turned out decent, so I'm showing y'all. And maybe next time, because I just want it. The back I knew would be fine, but the front is what I have to make sure, you know, it gets all smushed and weird looking and hard to 
coordinate. So last night when I was on the phone with my sister and I was telling her what I was doing, I was just putting the rollers in my hair. She's like, why don't you just mist it just a little bit with water to help? Because I still wanted to look, you know, naturally. I didn't want to reset or refresh my hair. I just wanted to make sure in the morning it was more, give it a chance to be more curly than flat. So this is what we're working with. But today, yeah. And then, you know, arrange it thusly. Put the bangs where I want them. Yeah. So it looks like, however it looks at the end of the day, which I'll probably come in and show you, it still looks like I put forth effort, effort, effort. Yeah. My mom's looking at my hair and I said, don't forget, my sister's two years ahead of me on her hair journey. I'm a year and a half ahead of my mom on her hair journey. And I said, Mommy, remember, you have to master your wash and go set first. I said, don't be looking at this. Try to figure out how you can do this on your hair now. She's like, I just learned that you're just flipping on me and changing up all these styles. I'm like, Mom, we're in different places in our hair journey. So, you know, focus on where you at. She's doing good where she's at. And if she wants to do her hair like this one day, it's good to have something to look forward to. But I think right now it be best she just focus, focus, focus. Because when I first started my hair journey, it's like you want to do all the things. And then as I got more into my hair journey, I'm like, it's, it's easy to just focus on the one thing. And as time goes on, you chill out and relax. And you're not as like, oh, I just have to do wash and goes. Well, now I just want to do wash and goes. Yeah. With a, with a foam set here and there. Let me know if y'all feel the same. <laughs> if you went from having to do your hair from wanting to do your hair in your natural hair journey, I will see you on day uh, three hair. I don't really have anything to do tomorrow, so day three might be a throw this into a twisted up dude because I have like a, a vendor event coming up this weekend, so I'll probably reset my hair really well Thursday to pr prepare for Saturday. But we'll see how it goes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a productive day. Hey, this is, you know, day one slash something else hair. So I worked out this morning and I was sweating and I had to take a shower anyway. So I was like, you know, I set my hair with foam and I knew that style was going to be ruined. It wasn't going to hold up through the workout. So I'm like, I could sit here and try to figure out how I want to twist my hair into a twist to updo. It'll probably take me the same amount of time to cleanse, condition, and set my hair in a wash and go that will last through my workouts this week. <laughs> so that's what I did, but I'm continuing the same week of videos. This is day one on this wash and go. I got my soap, bath and body making hoodie on. So today I made sangria sugar scrub. Um, I love the sangria. See, it's two tone on purpose. I love the sangria from Costco, by the way. I made lavender sugar scrub, real lavender essential oils. I made turmeric that can go with the turmeric soap um, that has organic turmeric in it, vitamin E and orange and lavender essential oils in it. And then we have the fun water. So head over to lavishcoco.com and get into the sugar scrubs there. Buy two, get one free. Try them out. They're awesome. I like their, um, you know, once you get them a little bit in your hand, they do have a preservative in them, so you can't take them into the shower with you. And if you get a little water in it, it's fine. That's what the preservative is to keep, you know, stuff from growing when it gets with the water. But once you, like, emulsify it in your hands and put it on your skin, it has, like, a lotion-like texture as it's sugar scrubbing off those dead skin cells so get into it i like i have cucumber melon in um in my shower right now that i'm enjoying and the next one i would like um to do do i have cucumber melon or sweet yeah i have cucumber melon in there i would, the next one i would probably do is either watermelon um or uh sweet nectar hibiscus yep so that's what I've been working on today. Here's my, my new set. I've got to get used to the fact that I'm growing my hair down now. I've been with getting it cut for a year now, shorter. And so now that it's growing down, I keep looking back there like, oh my goodness, this is what my hair looks like when I need a haircut. But I don't. I just got a haircut. 
so that's a cool adjustment and we'll just see how fast my hair grows down since we're not cutting it for my hair to catch up with it anymore we're just growing it out to first here you know then here then we'll see how I feel about my hair at those lengths and how long it takes me to get to those lengths so keep following me on my hair journey and I will see you on tomorrow hey y'all I think this is my day two hair on my wash and go set because we're still doing a continuation because I only spent three days on my last set and I think that makes the video too short okay I want to see what it's like in a week of my hair life so this is what she's doing today settling in quite nicely I'm getting used to the shape I'm still looking at my hair in the mirror and how it's filled out and how she didn't cut it all off and how it's progressed and I'm I'm getting used to now my <laughs> seeing my longer hair yeah and being like ooh. And I also was encouraged to, my mom reset her hair today and um, she forgot a step. So we got to, we had to go through, but I was, I was happy that I could help her and tell her where um, it was with the add in the water when you add the UFD and help with the elongation. So that's something that we will work on together. And I need to check my videos, make sure. Excuse me, I stayed in the day. I record so much content and then sometimes I intend to do something and then I get distracted by life. So I need to be sure that <laughs> when I started, you know, on memberships and on Patreon, my detailed video about my technique has been, I mean, there's a little update to it now, but that I need to just like film some new, do I need to film new content or do I just need to find the old video that I already filmed, but I never edited and put up. Okay. So let me, let me check on that, work on that. But this is it. That's what we're doing. Yep. I think my next uh, hair appointment would be scheduled for, well, anyway. It does, I was going to say it, but it doesn't matter because it'll just be weird for y'all when, when this video comes out around that same time and I record these in advance. So, anywho, this we're just going to go with my hair today. I'm hoping it will last. Actually, I'm hoping this step can last all the way through like Saturday because I am doing an event a vendor event for lavish cocoa that I'm excited about um, this Saturday so I was hoping that this set could would last all the way through and that I wouldn't have to worry about but we'll see what happens yeah if it could last a week a full week then that would be awesome all right I'll see y'all on day I guess what'll be day three on this set tomorrow Hello, y'all. This is day three. I think this is day three here with a wash and go. Okay. I'm still getting used to my longer hair. The fact that she didn't cut my hair in the back super short. When I'm looking at my hair in the mirror and seeing that it's fuller back here, I'm getting used to like that new shape, which is the shape I want balanced, but like basically this shape, but just grow it down. So I like the little in the back, the angle in the back, thusly, not like this. So I want my hair to be like that. But yeah, just getting used to being full and growing out. I did work out on this set this morning and it's still setting. I did a lot of, I've been doing a lot of labeling of things today had to go to the post office i just i just got you know some days you just like get a lot of stuff done i got a lot of stuff done today and we still got to meet tonight in a couple hours which i need to get ready for, start thinking about getting ready for you know we go in person now if you know you know so it's not like being on zoom you gotta actually leave your house and go somewhere instead of just walking into your living room okay okay but <laughs> i've been working on one of the things i was labeling today i labeled some soaps some mini soaps um i labeled some the sugar scrubs earlier but today i was labeling candles so i just have a few scents i'm going to introduce to y'all this one is called bourbon and to me it smells like a sophisticated man or woman yeah like you know an older sophisticated man to me yeah i love the warning labels on the bottom so that's one 
This one is my favorite staycation because it smells very fruity and tropical. The notes are peach, pineapple, papaya, hibiscus. So if you love our sweet nectar hibiscus soap, then you'll love this candle. Yeah, make your hair, you make your house smell like you're on a tropical vacation while you're at home in your robe, you know, just chilling out, watching Netflix, you know, scrolling the internets and just, you know, having a, that kind of day, kind of lazy day. This one, wind down is for wash hour. If you want to set a calm mood before you set your hair, before you get into it. It's got lavender, rosemary, and mint. And this one is scented with essential, my own customs, essential oil blends. And the last one I wanted to show y'all today is rain. It's, I put lilac, sandalwood, and musk. But hubby said it smells like, it smells a little floral, but a little like, you know that twang that, you know, musk or sandalwood would give you? It has that. Hubby says it smells like a high class fancy hotel that he's been to before but he can't remember which hotel that's what this is okay i love them all for different reasons but if i were gonna burn one first it would be staycation it's my favorite favorite for any time but if i were getting ready for my nighttime routine trying to go to sleep i would grab wine down bourbon just for you know throughout the day i think if i were having a gathering having some friends over and wanted to set like a, a chill, sophisticated smell mood, I would grab bourbon. Yeah. And uh, what, what was the other one? I told y'all of them. Yeah. So that, oh. And look at that. See that? The burn time on these candles, I've tested it, is 35 plus hours. So you can get a good, good amount of use out of one of these candles. So head over to lavishcoco.com and uh, see all the selections that I have there and yeah pick one and try it <laughs> so show you Abigail again so that's my day today definitely looking forward to the next couple days I think my hair is gonna last through the weekend like I want it to I'm hoping that it doesn't rain Saturday evening because that's what I'm supposed to do have my booth at the market I would hate for that to be canceled or I would hate for us to get soaking wet trying to set up and unset up because you know it's open it's downtown near the water and that would just be horrible and yucky all right y'all so i will see y'all on day four i guess it will be yeah all right have a productive day hey y'all welcome to whatever day this is here just wanted to pop in it is 9 23 at night and you see i got my hoodie on that i've been working i sewed a blouse today i I packed a soap order today. I finished, oh yeah, finished a skirt, another skirt today. I'm like, what did I do today? So like, I'm finally done. Labeled some more uh, lip balms because I made some some more. This was my own personal, it's the caramel one, so it doesn't have the label on it. But I love that, you know, you put it on, you can smell the caramel and it's a little sweet the flavor oil has a little sweetness in it so it's a beeswax based lip balm that also has coconut oil cocoa butter and shea butter in it so that's what i use for every day for my lip primer before i put on like my, my liquid lipstick from the lip bar is my lip balm so <sighs> that's my day today i think that even though my hair looks so great Supposed to rain this weekend when I'm doing the event at Cooper Riverside Park and I need my hair to be like because I don't have time to reset it for Sunday after I do the event for Saturday so I'm thinking that tomorrow if I have time or make time I'm gonna like reset my hair so it could be like strong ready to hold up to whatever the elements are gonna throw my way for tomorrow so we shall see how that turns out yeah I'm still getting used to my longer length my hair just is naturally wanting to go into my face more and I'm living with it. I love that since I'm not putting raw oils and butters on my hair, haven't done it in over a year and a half that um, maybe you can relate. When I used to put oil in my hair, have my hair pressed, have whatever, have my natural hair with oil and then you want it, it's on your face as bangs. It's like you're making your skin or your forehead extra oily so now that I don't have oils in my hair and my hair is on my forehead it does did kind of take me some getting used to with the itchiness 
I just like having something in my face but I'm not having that residue and that oiliness that could break me out so I'm really liking that um and it's not messing up my good sheets I don't know about y'all but I like a high thread count sheet got my satin pillowcases like who wants their oils to be messing up your good sheets and good pajamas and stuff okay so comment below if you can relate I will see you tomorrow Welcome to day five with this. So y'all, y'all know Abigail is going to do what she does. Abigail is the name of my hair. If you're new here, I personify her. I call her Abigail. Um, so this is what she's doing. And I know yesterday I thought I'm going to have to reset. I want to reset my hair today so it could be ready for tomorrow. But the way, you know, she can hear me. So she was like, well, I'm going to show up and look better than you expected me to look for the day five. So you're not going to need to reset me. That's what she's communicating to me today. So even though I have a little frizz here that I can feel, I don't think it's, you know, you can really see it. Yeah, that's just my thing. And I would rather my hair be fuller tomorrow than flatter. And so... The way it's doing now i'm just gonna make sure tonight that i tie it up really good in my hair buff and my satin scarf and have a good night's sleep on it and you know not go out and like jump in water tomorrow and ruin it and i don't have to reset my hair so far and my event tomorrow is in the evening so even if i do wake up and my hair has just lost its mind i got time to reset my hair tomorrow y'all yes i do so this is my day, is it five? Yeah. Going into day six. And now day seven is going to be the day that's going to be like, what are you doing? But we're going to be on Zoom because we're going to be watching the convention. So however she, you know, shows up, it'll, the Zoom camera will make it better. <laughs> I'll see y'all on day six. <laughs> It's day six on this set. I'm glad I didn't reset my hair yesterday because I like the volume that it's having, you know, the attention grabbing volume that you need that might be the difference in, you know, a sale or not a sale. Just saying. Oh, your hair. Oh, smell this. Oh, I bought it. But yeah, this is what we're doing today. Haven't gone to my event yet. I'm still preparing. I actually meant to change my shirt before filming this. I usually wear yellow when I'm doing um, markets, color psychology, look into it. And so I will be wearing a yellow shirt. So if you see like, if I post a video here after I edit, and I'm in a different shirt, that's why. Cause I have like, just like I have my hoodies and shirts that I wear, like when I'm making my soap and bath and body products, I have two different sweatshirts that I use. Mainly I have certain shirts that I wear they're like my uniform for selling at markets so far so good all right so I will you see them. this part feels frizzy in my hand but looking at it it looks a lot more defined than it feels so that's pretty cool yep so this is what we're going with now look what I did was trying to mock like setting up the the tent and um just pinch my hand i feel like a kid you know how when you little and everybody i have just takes you one time though you'll never do it again get your finger slammed in the car door child i remember when i did i don't know how old i was but i remember my mom had a parisian and i like had my hand on this door leaning into the front door and my sister i think it was my oldest sister in the back seat she slammed the door as she should i shouldn't have had my hand back there oh mg so this like scared me of that so now going to the market i'm gonna be extra careful i ain't gonna pinch my hand again i'll tell you that i hope y'all have a productive day thanks so much for watching oh and when it comes to my sugar scrubs i have made first the whipped sugar scrubs i know some of you tried them and it's just like body butter where if it gets too hot it melts 
So now I make emulsified sugar scrubs because it's more of the consistency and process of lotion. And we know lotion doesn't melt when it gets hot just because of the formulation of the product. So the emulsified sugar scrubs are better because they're not gonna melt. I love the consistency, how they go into your hands like, and then once you emulsify them, they turn more lotion-like and they just feel fabulous on your skin. So especially the turmeric one, um, it has vitamin E in it as well. So just a little tidbit about my new sugar scrubs are a new and improved recipe. So if you bought the old one, the new one is better in my opinion. But buy it and let me see. Let me, I mean buy it and you know, figure it out for yourself. Okay, I will see y'all on day seven. Yay, we made it to day eight, but I'm definitely resetting her today. But, because my hair just still feels yucky from itchy from the market and stuff. So I can't wait to wash it. Stay tuned for the next wash hour when I try a product I have never used before. I've had it for a while, but because of how the ingredients are set up, I hadn't used it because I didn't want to like negatively impact my hair journey where I was at then. But now, since I've um, made so much progress and improved, then I'm ready to give this one a try and I'll know how to properly, um, you know, wash it. Because part of using products and understanding formulation is like knowing when you put it on, like what it takes to get it off, like what strength of shampoo and stuff. So stay tuned to the next wash hour to see what I try and how it turns out. Thank you for liking, subscribing, watching, commenting with what you like about the video, joining um, in during the instant premiere um, where if you do the instant premiere, there's like a box to comment, but there's also where you can click to be a part of the live chat so you can um, talk to me while the video is premiering. So I take advantage of that if you make it for the instant premieres. Um, Thank you for those who have supported Lavish Coco, my um, AG hair affiliate link, as well as my code ABN20, my lip bar uh, link. Um, what is it? ABN10. <laughs> and all of those uh, way. Oh, as well as Patreon. Yeah. So I'm still working on how to figure out. To me, um, the Instagram lives are way easier to arrange and do than the not Facebook, YouTube, and or Patreon. So I still need to do take the time to do some tests and figure out how I want to do those. But I do want to do lives on those platforms as well. So hopefully by the time this video airs, I would have figured it out. So it would be advantageous of you to uh, either be a member or uh, on Patreon so that you could, I think, chat with me live. And I'm wondering, I think on Patreon, I can just do a live over there. And so, yeah, I will see you on the next wash hour. Have a great day.